Okay, so now we will discuss uh, three interview questions. What is the concatenation in transformer states? Why we use concatenation? Uh, what is the concatenation? In, no, no, the question is why we use, uh, what is the concatenation in transformer states? What is the concatenation? So concatenation can be done. So for example, uh, in my input, I'm using last name and first name. So last name may be a surname also will be considered. So from the input. Okay, so input, okay, so IP. And expected output is I need in a full name. Okay, so full name is the output I need. Okay. So here how we can do is we can uh, concatenate first name. The logic here is So normally last name concatenate with first name. Okay. So this is the logic base. So already video is there in YouTube. Okay. So what you guys can do? Go to YouTube. So here you can type concatenation in transformer stage. Yeah, you can see this implementation of concatenation log. So you can watch this video, guys. Okay. Okay, so you can uh, skip the ads. So this is the video. I'm copy paste in chat box. You can refer this video. Okay. And what is the order of execution? in transformer stage okay so here the order of execution is first 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 it will consider as stage variables if there is any stage variables declared that will consider and then constraint constraints filter condition okay so this is the filter condition and the third one is output derivation so this is the order of execution output derivation okay so if you declare any stage variables okay another thing is if you declare any uh, looping variables this will execute first so this is the order of execution of the transformer stage okay this already covered in the class so whenever we declare stage variables, right? Stage, uh, that time we have discussed stage variables, system variables. So during the session, we have discussed this. Okay. So the, the third interview question is how to kill the job in data stage. Okay. So to kill the job in data stage is normally uh, whenever it is running from autosys, we cannot uh, kill. What we can do is we can kill from the director itself. Okay, so for example, let's imagine I will run this job. And to kill that, so it's job started running. So here you can stop. So this way you can kill the job. You can kill from the director. Okay. So here uh, our VM is a little bit uh, responses low, but in real time now, so it will be uh, the approach. I mean, the, the responses will be very fast. Okay. Mm, this is okay. Uh, the, um, job kill chain um, Unix low level chapter. ID you see. Okay, how to kill in Unix? Huh? Mm. Uh, so sometimes it will oh, sorry. The responses hmm. it will happen. How and the oxal phase is the so here uh, it has been aborted. So, once the, there will be a delay, but our response has been expected. See here, job got aborted. Okay, 
అంటే నేను ఒకసారి సీక్వెన్స్ కిల్ చేశాను కానీ పేరల్ జాబ్ రన్ అవుతూనే ఉంది whenever if you want to stop the sequence better to kill the parallel job don't uh, kill the server job, i mean uh, job sequence okay so whenever uh, mm, uh, so whenever parent uh, when parents uh, parents will get emo- emotional so if you attack the children no so they will get uh, some emotion kind of thing so always kill the parallel job so once you once you kill the parallel job automatically the sequence will be stopped okay so here we can use uh, the commands in to kill in unix is this one uh, ps ef and grep and followed by the user id okay so instead of killing in uh, unix environment uh, what you can do is uh, better to kill in directory okay so normally we want uh, kill in unix actually so so whenever job is executing right so even if you you cannot do anything there so it is executing the script so better to kill in ds so automatically it will reflect it in the unix environment okay yeah the user id ekka untadi ant job lo user id means uh, uh, for every job to run there will be user id that you have to check in the sequence okay so let me Uh, check in our sequence so this one for example let's take an example of this sequence okay so here so just a minute so let's double click on this it's went to respond okay so here we have the user id that is uh, so user id means mostly it will be a login id okay so here uh, it's not reflecting actually so normally in uh, real time uh, environment uh, it will uh, uh, it will show you the from which user id this particular job is uh, getting uh, triggered okay so we have to kill with the id okay guys thank you